Today on TriCro Studios, we're going to do video number three of the ultimate modification series of the Ibanez RG3 EX FM1. So as you can see here, we have the body all laid out, the necks off it, because we refinished the neck necks good. I just took the back plate off there so I can unsolder the pickups and take out what I don't need out of this guitar for when we put the new pickups in. We're going to keep the pots. Uh, we're going to fix up and paint this jack here, make it nice, and we're going to clean all the screws and hardware. So here we go. So as you can see here, I cut some stuff out of this, but because uh, I'm not going to be using this again, I'm going to be using a new three-way switch because the uh, pickup's going to be using, I don't need five-way. This is a five-way switch. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to solder that up too so you guys can do it yourselves if you have a guitar that was five-way and need to put a three-way in. So we're going to do that later on, but I'm just going to continue cleaning out what I don't need in this guitar. So there you have it. It's completely stripped of all the parts I'm not going to use. Now I'm just going to uh, clean it up a little bit and uh, see how nice we can get this polished up. There's a lot of corrosion stuck all over the place. We can clean a lot of that gunk up that's around the bridge. Now we're going to use a little bit of uh, polish here just to polish up the body and get rid of some of this gunk. much nicer much much nicer so now that I got everything off of this guitar I got metal pickup coverings uh, the input jack all the bolts and nuts I'm gonna throw those into CLR because of all the gawk and grossness that's on this like there's sweat and every other kind of salty corrosion and rust so we're gonna throw some CLR in there you don't want it to stay in there for too long because if it's in there for too long it's gonna turn it black and it's just gonna make more of a mess so put enough in there that it's gonna fill up enough that everything is covered and then just keep watching that it's not gonna go all gross so now we're going to add the CLR. So now that's in the CLR, we're going to check back later to check out what it looks like. So now that everything's been in the CLR for a bit, I'm looking at it. I think it's about time for most of these items to come out. We'll check them as we take them out. So let's take out one of the pickup covers. Make sure you have a clean surface, but make sure you have a surface that you don't mind if it gets ruined. Because uh, this stuff can be pretty nasty stuff. Not sure what you guys can see at home, but all that crud and salt and corrosion and rust that was on there is completely gone it's very clean looking actually the finish that was on this is actually gone too which is great because we're going to repaint them and make them into a much nicer finish all right so piece number two like you said again all the rust is gone all that built up corrosion and guck that was on here is absolutely gone, which is awesome. So another bracket. 
on there, clean, good to go. So this is what I mean as well. Like see that black finish on there? See little spots? Uh, actually will strip it as you can see. Me just rubbing it like this almost took it completely off. That's why you do not want to do this if you're just trying to clean parts. It will take finish off a of metal. But if you don't care and you're going to be refinishing like I am, then give her. Now these screws were completely, completely black. And now look, they're just a bare silver color, but they're clean. That's the main thing. They were completely full of gawk and grossness. So that's a great sign to see that this thing actually does work. CLR is the way to go. You can get this at any uh, Home Depot department store type thing. So now that we got all of our stuff laid out and it's drying out, we uh, we can put another piece of shop towel out and just pat over top of it. Make sure that we got any excess CLR or stuff coming off of it. It's going to go onto the paper towel. Uh, once you've done that, you need to grab a piece of cardboard, fold it in half so it's nice and thick. You're going to stab these screws through the cardboard. That way, when we go to hit it with our spray paint, we're just going to hit it quick. It's just going to hit the top of the screws. It's not going to get into the threads and make any mess or make anything difficult when you're putting it back on. And for our spray paint, I'm just using a Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula metallic paint that is for metal. This is going to make everything look really shiny and pop when we go to put this all back together. So here we go. Now you'll want to do a separate one for any of them that are flat. This one's kind of set up so we can fold this up and hit it really well. And uh, it's not going to run or anything like that. And you're just going to hit the surface of it. You don't want to do too much. Once you do hit it, then if you feel like you've missed some, just wait till it dries and then go back and hit it again a little bit. If you put too much on there, it's gonna run, it's gonna look horrible. So a little tiny bit goes a long way. Like I say, as many times during this series, a little bit goes away. Take your time. When you take your time, you'll have a better product. If you put too much on there, then you're trying to fix and backtrack and you don't want that. So the reason why I had bought into this paint is because with the Rust-Oleum, they're just a great product for one, but where it already has the primer and paint in one, you don't have to prime it and then hit it again. You can just do one good quick coat. You don't want to sit there and soak it because then you're going to get the streams going down and you don't want that. That just looks horrible. So just be patient with it, hit it quick, and then wait for it to dry. If you feel like you have to hit it again, then hit it quick again. Just quick swipe coats and then that's it. So now we're going to let this sit and dry. You don't want to keep over hitting it because if you over hit it then it's just going to get messy. So even though it looks like I may have missed a piece of one or a little bit of another or maybe I want to go on the other side and hit it again, just wait, let it dry and then hit it afterwards. And now I'm going to hit it with coat number two. So here's the finished product of the hardware refinishing. The gold looks really good. Right now you can't really tell how well this is going to look. But once it goes onto the guitar with the darkness of the guitar and the black pickups, these screws and fixtures are going to look amazing. So stay tuned to check out this guitar. There's lots more mods coming your way you do not want to miss. And please subscribe to TriCrow Studios.